Okay, so after several weeks and months of technical issues, I am back. And there's so much to address here. First is somebody who requested uh, Silver Surfer. I want to apologize personally. I do not have that game and unfortunately have not been able to locate it. So that is beyond my means to do. However, if somebody ever provided footage, I would very, very happily talk all kinds of nasty shit about it. But anyway, on to the game of the day. Akari Warriors. I'm bitching here. This has nothing to do with telling you how to beat this game because I can't even get past the first level. I get so frustrated. I mean, the first issue you have to get over is getting the fucking thing to turn on. Now we all know how this goes. You know, you have to blow in it, you have to tap it on your leg, you have to shove your dick in it and please it. And that'll go on for about 10 minutes. Then you actually get the game to work. So there's the technical issues to get over. That, that's not even the beginning. The real beginning, and I'm going to admit I have good memories of this game that were soiled by reality. When the screen came up, I remembered, oh yeah, my big burly motherfucker is pink. Well, he wears a pink headband and like a pink belt. That's just a bad sign. No offense to a friend of mine out there who absolutely loves pink, but when you're a big badass dude, pink just isn't acceptable. This game is basically overhead contra, but not. Because it sucks. It's painfully bad, going back and playing this. I remember being a kid and playing it occasionally and thinking, Oh, that intro with the crashing plane is awesome! And then stepping out of the plane and then just blowing shit up. Oh, it's so awesome! But that's when you're a kid and gameplay isn't necessarily as big of an issue because you're too young to really understand that good gameplay is necessarily that important. Now, I can't necessarily bitch as much as I want to at the beginning of this because for some odd reason, this is the one time in my life when I'm ready to absolutely unload on this game. It's the one time I do good. For like the first 10 minutes I was doing absolutely phenomenal. And then of course reality took over, I got to a bridge and... You know. <laughs> You'll see. My first complaint. Very legitimate. You can't shoot straight. Your dude, in an effort to say, oh, I'm a, I have a giant 10-foot cock. I can hold the gun at my hip and shoot it without recoil. You know, sure, that looks cool for like two seconds. And then you realize, oh, crap, I can't shoot straight forward. So the enemies, being oddly intelligent in this game, for an old NES game, will try to come straight at you. And guess between the two of you who can shoot in a straight fucking line? It's not you! And oh my god, that isn't even that isn't even the worst part. It wouldn't be so bad if you were actually agile. You're not. You move slower than every enemy. The most basic dude. Your basic Charlie Viet Cong Asian dude can run way faster than you, who are apparently some kind of special forces dude, or you're just, you know, some kind of big burly nerd who just ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. I, I don't really know. I haven't been able to come up with a logical reason why your character moves so fucking slow. And let's not you know, forget the fact that this is an old NES game and top down, there's no jump, there's no duck. So if a dude shoots his little white jizz ball at you, you, de you die, period. You know, kind of a forerunner of the Contra way of doing things. You know, every shot in old NES games is a headshot. All you online gamers out there who absolutely suck off Halo or whatever. Modern Warfare 2 nowadays. You know, the headshot is the big dick. Well, back then, back in these days, if you weren't, uh... If you weren't there, you won't appreciate it so much, but every shot counted. Absolutely every shot. And they didn't even need to shoot you. The simple fact that you can't easily shoot these guys means that they'll just walk into you. And of course, you know, being the big, nasty, Rambo-looking bastard you are, you can't kill them that close. You don't have a knife. You don't have melee. This isn't Metal Gear Online where you can, you know, cut somebody a new vajay in the throat. No. If they touch you, 
and use Trojan Magnum at you, and you would die. <laughs>